Hi guys, today we are in New York City to visit Mickey, the true original exhibition. It is a pop-up exhibition celebrating Mickey Mouse because this year is his 90th birthday. Um, there's all different sorts of rooms celebrating different time periods of Mickey Mouse, um, all different art exhibits and things of the like. They also have a gift shop here. With and it's open to the public. Open to the public. You don't need a ticket to go to the gift shop. But they have all different types of exclusive merchandise exclusive to this pop-up shop. Um, what else do you need to know? Um, it's on 60 10th Avenue in New York. Yeah. You can get your tickets. The website's right behind us. It's Disney.com slash Mickey True Original. Um, the tickets are $40. $40, yes. And it's running until February 10th. So um, you could come any of the weekends until then. And you pick a time. So you um, they only let a certain amount of people in per time. So it's not yes. too crowded. Um, so you pick the time that you want to come. And you buy your tickets. And then you go inside. Awesome. So there's a lot to see here. So let's go inside. We have about 15 to 20 minutes before our reservation. So we'll take you through the gift shop first. So we just came inside, we're in the gift shop here, which again is open to the public. I'll show you guys some of the merch that they have here. We got blind box pins. If you're a Disney pin collector, $9.95. These are cool though. I like these a lot. Steamboat Billy ears. Really, really cool. I don't know how much these are. Let's see. These are $25. No, I think it's $25. No, it's Canadian $35. So uh, these Sorcerer Mickey ears, really cool, also $25, and then you have just your plain, simple Mickey the True Original Exhibition ears, you can only get those here, also $25. Here they have all different sorts of Mickey themed treats by, looks like Disney is paired up with Sugarfina for these. So you see we got some gummies, Mickey gummies, gummies here. They're shaped like Mickey too. Got these nice ones in a practical box. This is cool though. These are candies inside of here, but it comes in this collectible bento box, I think it's called. Yeah, bento box, and this is $38. It's cool, you got some Mickey artwork inside. And you got some more candies over here. And these will run you. I don't know. Oh, $8. So they have a sock collection here. It's actually a pin and sock collection, Disney and Stance. You get, looks like four pins and a pair of socks that say 1928 on it. So you can't really see in there, but this says 90 years. And then over here on this side, you have half current Mickey and half Steamboat Mickey, which is pretty cool. At $60. And this is going to run you $60. So, not cheap, but again, these are, you can find them on the Shop Disney site, but a lot of these are exclusive to the exhibition. So, this is a book by Tashin, I think if I'm saying that correctly, and it's $200, but it looks like it takes you throughout the years of Mickey Mouse. And look how different he used to be back in the day. Crazy. And over here that they have these art of Mickey Mouse. They also have a Minnie Mouse version and those are $40. Oh yeah, look at that. They have all different types of Mickey themes t-shirts as well. You can go as subtle as just a little Mickey on the pocket or you can go with this. <laughs> How much are these? This one's only $15. $14.90. This is $14.90 as well. Look, this one has that, and then on the back oh, it I like shows that. you how to draw Mickey Mouse. Oh, really cool. It's different. And these are by Uniqlo. And also, if you guys are familiar with going to Uniqlo and like Disney Springs, at least these are like nicely put on a rack and you don't have to <laughs> rummage through a pile. I feel like every time I go to Uniqlo and Disney Springs, I'm just searching through piles and piles of shirts. Got some more shirts over here. These ones are gonna be more expensive because they're rag and bone. And I remember seeing a few of these on the Disney store website. Yeah, this shirt right here is, this one's 150. And I have a few different ones as well. Let's see if we can show you some more. 
We have another one here. This is by Vans. This is $80. I have another rag and bone. Oh, it's the first one I showed you. Um, another Vans shirt. So a lot of different shirts here. And we're not even halfway through the store yet. And they have some more over here. Matt's thinking about getting this one, which I really like too. The Sorcerer Mickey crew neck. I think this one's a little more money. This one's 50. And this one's cute too. I love Steamboat Willie, so that one. And this is just a t-shirt, so it's... $32. Oh, that's, expe yeah, that's expensive for a t-shirt. Definitely pricey. Oh, oh that one's cute too. Oh, wow. Oh, I really like that one. It's also like 32. the sketch, you know, like how they like drew yeah. him. I have a Mickey colorful tote. $20, not bad. I also have shirts in that similar style here. Black, gray, white. This is cool, they have like a little ID holder. I thought it was a luggage tag at first, but you can see by the lanyard that it's an ID holder. You can put your credit cards in here, your ID. That is $14.95. So we're over here, they have a another section of their gift shop called Mickey's Maker Shop. And you can create your own designs on shirts. Choose your style, choose your base print, you can add patches. And I guess depending on whatever you add to your shirt will depend on the cost of it. Let's go see what you can add in. So these are some examples of these shirts that you could make here. It's just a standard black tee and then if you could tell this is a patch that was ended up being sewn on. There's the same style in gray. I have some more here. These aren't patches, these are screen print, but you have your option. You can print it on the shirt. You have a sweatshirt option, basic tee, shirt for the little ones. Pretty cool. These are some of the patches you can add onto the shirt. I don't know if they're, these are all the ones you can add. Patch wise, these might be all you can add, but they have all different types you could choose from. I like this one. And that one too. I like the steamboat. But... Yeah, that's a classic. So you could buy your own patches. They're iron on, and you can um, make your own stuff at home. That's cool. Some of these were the ones that we showed you for the shirts here. Like I know this one was, this one was, that yeah. one. Might be. They might and just have them out three. displayed. But so you could buy these, bring them home, and you don't have to put them on a shirt here. You could do it yourself if you want. And they're fifteen dollars each. This is that blind box pin set that I was showing you guys earlier. And on the back, these are the pins that you can end up with. So you have nine, looks like nine different options here. And there's one in each box. $9.95. And over here they have this back room, which is specifically set aside for the Disney Mickey Mouse Beats headphones. Pretty cool. These are pretty expensive. Uh, they're at least a couple hundred bucks. I, I don't know exactly what the prices are, um, but I know they're a little bit pricey. Here's a close up look at those headphones here. They are wireless, or you can have them wired, but you got Mickey on the side. It carries all the way over through the top. Of course, the Beats logo. And pretty much the same thing on the other side. So when you show that you're a Disney, Disney Visa card holder, you get a free gift, and it's all these, what do you call them? Lithographs. Lithographs. So I think I'm gonna frame them when I get home and like put them on a wall. Yeah, that's really They're nice. really like nice. Is there four of them? Yeah, I yeah, believe I mean, so. For, and you don't have to pay with the card, you could just show the card. You just have card. to show them that you're a card holder. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, and it comes in this nice little, Oh yeah, lithograph collection. Cool. What's that, what were you saying about the shirts though? What about them? That you wish they had a shirt? Oh yeah, I was saying I wish they had like a shirt that just said like the Mickey, um, like something with the, this on it, like the, the expo exhibition. Yeah. Why can't I talk today? <laughs> um, I wish they just had like a shirt with something like that as like a memory. I just got like a sweatshirt with a Mickey on it. Mm. Um, which is nice, but like you could get that anywhere. Yeah. And, but Matt got really cool. I think we showed them before, but 
you got the Steamboat Willie ears. Yeah, I love those. And on the inside, like it, it has the. Uh, yeah. Again, I, we said this before, but these are exclusive to the exhibition. You only can buy those here. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, I kind of wish they just had like a shirt or something with that on it as like a memory. But it was still like a really awesome experience. Yeah. There's some cool stuff here. Prepare yourself for a magical journey filled with timeless Mickey moments, recreated by contemporary artists who all are exploring the joy and wonder what Mickey Mouse means to all of us. So we just made it inside, and one of the first things you could see is Walt Disney's Oscar from Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. With all these neon Mickeys on the wall as soon as you walk in. They have this giant replica bow from Steamboat Willie that you can come and take pictures on. We'll insert our pictures now. Again, I know we said this a couple times. This is an art exhibit, so you're going to get some different interpretations of Mickey by the various artists that are here. And here we got a couple of creepy looking Mickey and Minis. Check that out. That's that Friday feeling right there. We got this little room over here when you first come in the first room where you can check out the world premiere of Steamboat Willie. Check it out. It looks like in each of the rooms, it says join our official conductor for an immersive audio component to the exhibition. So whenever you see the pair of Beats headphones, you can listen in and it's going to be themed to whatever room you're in. Whoa, check this out. This is a huge Mickey. He's probably about eight to nine feet tall. Kind of looks like a Demogorgon. Demogorgon Mickey. Step into an entirely black and white world and experience the magic of Mickey from his early beginnings. This whole room is black and white. Old school Mickey in here. Check it out, they got a mural of Mickey and Minnie from Plane Crazy. Plane Crazy was Walt Disney's first animated short starring Mickey Mouse. It didn't release until after Steamboat Willie, so a lot of people think Steamboat Willie is the first one. That's the first one that people saw that was released, but this is the first one that Walt created, which is pretty cool. So for some of these photo ops here, they have Mickey feet on the floor. They'll tell you to stand on the feet. And that's your perfect view. And they're right. And they have a couple different photo ops. You can sit here, high five Mickey. You jump in here with Mickey and Minnie. So cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely into our third room, ink and paint. So they have all nods to the old school artist. This one was working on a Fantasia. They have all different photos of early Disney artists. Now we're heading into the ink and paint department. And this room's gonna be all color Mickey. We were just in the black and white room. Now we're in the all colorful room. Wow. This is entirely made of yarn. Check this out. We got some abstract heart. Oh, check it out. If you move further away, you can see the shape of the hidden Mickey. Really cool. So have another big mural here. And on the wall, they have iPads playing all different clips from some of the earliest color cartoons of Mickey Mouse. Looks like they're all playing the same thing, just on a loop. Pretty cool. Whoa, check this. It's a Fantasia theme room. You can see the buckets over here. And they have all the brooms carrying the buckets of water. How cool is this? It's an illusion that it's made to look like that there's a bunch of them. So cool. If you guys are a fan of Fantasia, you would love this room. Check this out. It's an oil on disassembled wood cinema chairs. Pretty sweet. 
sweet. We have another cool photo op in here. The sorcerer's hat. Check it out, they have these barrels you could look into. There's some sketch animation of Sorcerer Mickey. I gotta say, this is definitely my favorite room so far. What do you think? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Look at that on the wall. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, continuing on our way out of the Fantasia room and into, oh wow, look at that. Some ice cream. It's like a 50s style Mickey Mouse room here. Paying homage to the original Mickey Mouse Club. And those are actual costumes from the 1955 Mickey Mouse Club. Annette, Francello, and Cubby O'Brien. A Mouseketeer's drum and an original Mickey hat. Wow, look at that. Got a Mickey Mouse Club diner style setup. And they have ice cream in here, which is free. So if you want some ice cream, check it out. They have chocolate and confetti flavored ice cream. All right, next room, 1928 Original Muse. I'm gonna take a guess and say this is some early artwork from Mickey Mouse. Not early artwork, but early style of Mickey Mouse, I should say. Look at this one, this one's beautiful. It's called Peace Minus One. We got some more Japanese style artwork of Mickey Mouse here. Yeah, this one's cool. This is a nice photo op. I gotta say, there's a lot of photo op opportunities in here. So if you come, take a lot of pictures. There's a lot of cool spots to get your photo taken. And there's a class member in every room that all take their picture for you. Yeah. All different styles of vans. Pretty cool. I like these ones. Oh, yeah. Check this old Mickey phone. I'm pretty sure my parents had something similar to this back in the day. Look at this little tiny guy. These are all old Mickey and Minnie themed memorabilia. Check it out. This writing tablet here is from, according to the sign, it's from 1934. Crazy. Yeah. Check these out too. They have old lunch boxes. I like how this one, you could tell it was actually used. It's all banged up and rusted. Levi's. I feel like they sell this, like now. Probably shouldn't be touching it. It's pretty crazy to see. They have all these Mickey dolls from over the years. It's from 1930. Look how different he was. Wow. Also from 1930. I have a more modern one here. This is from the 45th anniversary of Magic Kingdom. Look at these old Mickey and Minnie Mouse. How different they look. Minnie's like a cowgirl. She's got stirrups, a lasso, and a hat. Crazy to see how far they've come. Even this guy, what is that? That's kind of creepy, but also cool at the same time. There's a lot to see in this room. There's all different types of memorabilia. Really old stuff here. Check out this old Mickey tricycle. Wow, it's from 1934. Like original drawings of Mickey. The earliest known drawing of Mickey Moon is dated to 1928. The original is on permanent display at the Walt Disney Family Museum in San Francisco. Wow. That's awesome. Check this out, they have a, I don't even know what you call this. It's like a concoction of Mickey Mouse plushes. Most of these are modern too, not too many old ones on here. Actually, this one, this one's pretty old. 
that guy. Well, most of these are more of a modern making style, but they're all kind of put together in what the artist Shanique Smith is calling Ode to Mickey Mouse. And this one here is made out of all vintage Mickey t-shirts. Wow. This one's by DRX or Dr. X. Really neat. All old vintage shirts. Pretty cool. All right, so we just wrapped up our visit to Mickey, the true original exhibition. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I would say it took about roughly 40 to 45 minutes to get through. You can slow down a little bit more. There were some things we kind of didn't stop and look at every single thing, but we tried to look at as much as we could or stuff that was least interesting to us. Um, but you could do this in about 45 minutes to an hour, I would say, right? Yeah. And there's a lot of cool photo ops, so make sure you bring yeah. your phones or cameras, take a lot of pictures, they let you videotape the whole thing. And if you're a Disney fan, definitely come check it out, it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, we go to Disney parks quite often, but this was nice to have a little taste of Orlando slash Anaheim here, right in, here, in, New York here City. in New York City, <laughs> so it was fun. We got our Disney fix for the day. Yeah. Um, and another thing about the photo ops, if you're a solo traveler, if you're coming here by yourself, there's employees and cast members at basically every photo every opportunity room. in the room. Um, so you can have somebody take your photo no matter where you go in the exhibition, which is pretty cool. But yeah, um, come check it out. Highly recommend it. It runs through February 10th. Yeah. Right? February yeah, 10th. From Tuesday to Sunday, eight or 10 to 8. There you go. Yep. And again, the uh, I think it's called Mickey's Maker Shop. Yeah. That's the retail store here. That open you, to the public. Open to the public. You don't need a ticket. You can come whenever you want and check out the merch that's here. But again, highly something we highly recommend, especially yeah. if you're a Disney fan. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and we will <laughs> catch you next time. Bye. Bye.